I'm looking for $100 million answers that can help change the course of human history and help heal our planet. But what's the question? In the next 100 seconds, I'm going to explain. I'm Marcus Extivor, Vice President of Energy and Climate at XPRIZE. The question is, how do we take centuries of CO2 emissions out of the air and oceans? If you've got the skills to answer that question, we'd love to hear from you today. Now, let's start with the basics. We've got to reduce our CO2 emissions and get to net zero. But net zero is not enough. We also have to go carbon negative, and we need to get there fast. That means taking CO2 that's currently in the air and oceans, removing it, and storing it for a long, long time. Do you know how to remove CO2 using the land, oceans, rocks, or even taking CO2 directly out of the air? We've got to get the CO2 from up here and locking it away down here. We know plants and trees can do this and been doing it for a long time. They're great at this, but do you know how to help plants and trees sequester that CO2 in the vegetation and soils in a way that's durable and can last for centuries? How do we use the oceans to sequester vast amounts of CO2? Kelp and seagrasses are great at this, and about a third of our emissions are already in the oceans. Do you know how to remove it and sequester it safely? What about rocks and helping them remove CO2? Many rocks can do this naturally, but the process takes thousands of years on its own. Do you know how to dramatically speed that up? Now you might already have an amazing idea in direct air capture, in soil sequestration, or tree planting, or farming, or maybe kelp farming and seagrass, marine biology, ocean alkalinity enhancement, geologic sequestration, mineralization, and enhanced weathering, or maybe a technique no one's heard of before. We want your $100 million ideas. Enter the largest incentive prize in history. Visit xprize.org to find out how to register a team and get involved. Together, we can help balance Earth's carbon cycle and protect our climate for future generations. What does a $100 million answer look like? It looks like any other crazy idea. It just has to work.